Today is May 12, 2016, back with the Stocks to Trade Daily Recap. Several interesting stocks, including MGT, KTOV, SYNC, and CCXI. Okay, so the first stock we're going to go over is MGT. This was a, you know, it's an interesting play. John McAfee, which if you're familiar with McAfee uh, virus scan, you know, he kind of went off the reservation a couple years ago. I mean, it's an interesting story. He's now involved, and uh, but there's a lot of a lot of news to interpret. Okay, so they, you know, it's up huge from from 20 cents or so. Then this morning pre market, it really looked like it was going to give a lot of back. Uh, it really yanked here from the 150s down to the one, you know, low ones, and kind of everybody on Twitter, everybody everywhere is okay. This is the end of the run. This thing's going to collapse. And then it ripped back, and they issued a press release um, kind of right at the open. Um, and you, you can see that in, in Stocks to Trade and read that. But, again, it's kind of iffy news based on some sort of uh, lease agreement with a co-location space. So, you know, these stocks are fine to trade, and you can see that it really spiked into the open and then kind of pulled back a little bit. But then really ripped. I mean, this is really looking like a prototypical short squeeze because you get these these big moves up and then everybody starts to pile in. And then just when you think it's going to collapse, pre-market, as well as uh, kind of early after the open, they rip back. Now, again, it faded a little bit, but it is holding. I mean, one this 150 level is still up considerably. So there's, in closing... There's money to be made both ways on this stock because it has range both ways. You just have to develop a plan and stick to it. So we're kind of, kind of curious to see what will happen tomorrow on a Friday. If they continue putting out these press releases, this thing could be a potential long. But if not, opposite is true. Remember, it's up from 20 cents. If there's no news and the uh, momentum guys start to come out, this thing could really pull back fast. Speaking of fast pullbacks, CCXI was a, another big ripper um, from last week. And then yesterday, just kind of out of the blue, shot up, kind of really everybody kind of thought this was dead in the low threes. Rocketed up to, to almost five, which was the level it was at last week too. And then it was announced, again, you can see that in your news feed in Stocks to Trade that they were presenting at a conference today. Uh, tough to trade before those uh, m events like that. You can kind of, you never really know what's going to come out in those, but uh, it's fine to then bookmark that and then look for what happens after that event. And you can see that it was kind of a midday thing. Got a couple pops to VWAP, which uh, is a, we're, we're doing video lessons on using VWAP, but uh, just so just so you know, it's a commonly used day trader uh, indicator. And then this thing pretty well faded all day, and it looks like the air is coming out. So uh, it could be a good potential short sell because, again, they've been, they presented the momentum could be coming out. Uh, KTOV, we posted this this morning. Ah, you know, these are okay to trade if only if the move is confirmed, okay? They had some positive patent news this morning, very low volume but very low float. Now what you need to look for is basically continuations of the moves. This thing never really broke out above any sort of good level. So it was really, even though it was interesting this morning based on the news, there was never really a strong buy indicator here. And now you can see it's just range bound. So really no short. So, so this is one, even though there's positive news, even though it had a decent move out of the gate, Really no confirmed trade in this. So uh, everybody always wants a pick, wants an in or an out, but KTOV never confirmed that it was gonna that it was gonna continue to move, and now it's just kind of at support, so there's no real short sell opportunity. Last one is SYNC Sync. Remember, this was featured last week on a contract win with ATT for you know a lot of money, hundred million dollars. So um 
But this is another one you can see that uh, if we back out a little bit, that you know it's just kind of range bound, but it's beginning the fade. So unless there gets some more volume in this and some more potential press releases, potential press coverage, follow up on this contract, this could begin its kind of fade back. Otherwise, you're going to look for that breakout above 380 into the 4. So until it confirms a breakdown to 3 or a breakout to 4, could be range bound. But, but once it hits those key support and resistance levels, it could get explosive. So, uh, so several interesting stocks today, and we'll see you tomorrow.